Good afternoon, everyone. Professor D here. Today, we're going to um, go through how to set an interim baseline. So let's get started. You already know how to set a baseline. So we're just going to go to the project tab. And then we're going to go to the schedule group. And we're going to go to set a baseline. So we click on set a baseline. And it looks like the last one that has been set um was on today so I'm, let's clear that baseline so i'm canceling this and i'm gonna go up and say clear baseline and we want to make sure we clear that baseline and that looks like the only one is set and we want to clear it for the entire project so we're clearing that baseline so there is no baseline set so you actually learn how to clear a baseline um i know i've already taught you how to set a baseline but today we're going to set interim baselines with a baseline, if that makes sense. But let me explain. So we're going to set our original baseline. So we're going to say set a baseline, set a baseline for the entire project. And we're going to say, OK, it's going to be set on baseline because that's the first baseline. OK, so I'm going to set that. So the first baseline is set. And the original start date for task six is 724. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this start date for task six. And I'm going to make it start on January 16, 2020. And you see it has pushed our dates out. Now, our baseline is, our actual baseline is different. It's different than what we uh, estimated. So I'm going to go back to the schedule group, go to set a baseline. I'm going to set a baseline, but we already have one set on baseline. This time, we want to make sure that we set an interim baseline because we want to save our first baseline into the interim plan. So we're going to click on set interim plan, copy, and we want to make sure we're copying baseline into baseline one. OK, so we're copying our first baseline into baseline one and we're saying OK. So now our original baseline will be in baseline one. Now we, we've changed the date for this task six start. So now we want to set this baseline. So we're going to. So we're going to go up to set a baseline. Set baseline, and we want to make sure that we're setting baseline on the baseline where it just says baseline because remember, we copied this baseline into baseline one. So we want to set the new baseline on the first baseline, and we want to set it for the entire project, and we want to say OK. And it's asking us, do we want to overwrite this particular baseline? And yes, we do. So we want to overwrite it. Now, we're going to add new columns. Well, first, before I do that, let me go into baseline. And so you can see that there are two baselines set, one for baseline and one for baseline one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add these columns and we're going to add one for baseline one start. And I'm looking for baseline one start. Here it is. And then we're looking for the column that says baseline start. And here that is. So if we go to task six, we see that we have our baseline one, which is our original baseline that we copy into baseline one. Our original start date was 724. And our baseline start date now is 116. So this is one of the reasons why you would use an interim baseline. Thank you and have a great day.